practice listening to real conversations in English with people from around the world. Welcome to Conversations in English. Thank you for joining us for Conversations in English. My name is Wendy and we are speaking to Eduardo today. Eduardo, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? Of course. Uh, okay, so my name is Eduardo. Uh, well, we, pr we pronounce it Eduardo. <laughs> and because um, <laughs> yeah, I am from Brazil, uh, Sao Paulo. And um, well, I have many hobbies and things that I like to do, but language is one of the things that I love the most. And um, so because of that, I, I really enjoy learning lots of them and talking to different uh, people and learning about different cultures and uh, uh, well this is one of my hobbies and also a little bit of my job because I'm also a English teacher and a Portuguese teacher okay. and uh, you are yeah. available on italki's platform is that right yes I'm available is on there italki. any other platform that you work on not really uh, yeah. okay, <laughs> for now just italki yeah and uh, yeah that's it and uh, as to my other hobbies, I like uh, singing and uh, anything related to music. I like doing sports and also cooking and eating and yeah. Okay, so good. Okay, <laughs> so that is Eduardo in a nutshell. Okay, good. Okay, so what would you like to talk about today? Tell us about the theme or topic that you've picked. Mm, I picked, uh, generally speaking, like languages. Okay, so what languages have you learned and are you learning and do you plan to learn in the future? Okay, so uh, I've learned uh, English, of course, that was my first language uh, that I've learned. <laughs> and then uh, Italian, Spanish, and I'm currently learning French. Uh, I uh, actually have a decent level already and so I started uh, to learn German as well and I would like to learn German and Swedish in the future and uh, maybe uh, some other languages could in interest me but like for now uh, yeah just uh, German and Swedish are my next goals. Okay good. So do you find that learning languages that have a Latin base make it easier to understand like obviously you come from Portuguese was your first language so knowing Portuguese, did that make it easier to learn Italian, Spanish, and now French? Absolutely, yes, it, it does help a lot. Um, for, I mean, it's still, you still have to uh, put in the, the work. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not, uh, it's not going to come like easily, easily but uh, it helps a lot to get to the point where you can understand things, uh, right. especially if you have subtitles because the pronunciation is often so right. different. But the written version is very similar. So uh, having subtitles and uh, does help a lot. And then it, you can get to the level where you understand things and you can get lots of input uh, faster. And that really helps you to reproduce the language faster as well. And yeah, <laughs> it does help. And since you have a hobby for learning languages, do you think that languages come easier to some people? Do they have like a natural talent for languages? No, I don't think so. I actually don't think anybody has the natural talent for anything, mm -hmm. but it's about what you spend time doing. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, even as a child as well. So if you if you are used to reading a lot, that could probably help. Uh, but uh, no, I think it's about putting in the hours and actually okay. uh, spending time so with it. So no <laughs> excuses. So if you want to learn uh, a language, you can learn a language. That was our conversation with Eduardo. So if you would like to hear the full conversation, head on over to Patreon where you can get worksheets and you can listen to the full version and you can see how you can participate in future conversations. So let's go on to some comprehension questions. Try to answer in complete sentences. You can pause the video in order to make sure you have time to answer. So the first question is, what city is Eduardo from? 
And the second question is, what is the hobby that Eduardo loves the most? And the third question is, what other interests does Eduardo have? And the final question is, what languages does Eduardo want to learn in the future? So if you would like to hear our full conversation, go to Patreon and look at Conversations in English, where you can learn about some of Eduardo's techniques about learning languages in our full conversation. <music>